Welcome to this high fidelity prototype of the Natural History Museum's GameR Augmented Reality app. Our first task is to select a fossil. I'm going to click this camera icon. As it loads, it will take us into the prep lab where it says, Hi there, welcome to the NHMU's fossil prep lab. I'm geologist Dr. Spotstone. This is where we bring collections from the field so we can remove the fossils inside. We're going to go forward. We arrive at the Game R Medallions page. Thanks for helping us out and answering some questions. Here I'll add plus five Game R Medallions to your score. By the way, Game R stands for Gamified App for Museum Augmented Reality. We're going to move forward again. Oh, I know. We just got a few new rock specimens in today. How about you prepare one? Earn plus five Game R Medallions for picking the one you like. We have three fossils. Let's start over here. Shale. This rock actually comes from overseas in the United Kingdom. Dr. Banner says it's a brittle 324 million year old shell from the Carboniferous Radstock Formation. Let's see what the next one is. Sandstone. This is a sandstone from the Cedar Mountain Formation in Grand County. That's in Utah. This 124 million year old rock is made up of sand, so it's easily broken apart. Our third choice is limestone. This is a chunk of the Thanes limestone from Millard County, also in Utah. Dr. Brown says this 252 million year old rock dissolves really easily despite it being so hard. Well, let's select the sandstone. Task 2. Select a tool. Let's select the brush. Brushes are great for breaking up rocks made of tiny particles like the ones that form in rivers or on beaches. Let's select this. Great selecting a rock in a sample. Now tap tap tapity tap to reveal the fossil underneath. We'll earn plus 10 game arm medallions for a well cleaned fossil. We'll earn plus 10 medallions for a well cleaned fossil. Let's tap away. Nicely done. We've revealed a Utah raptor. Utah raptors were as large as most adult humans. They lived in the Cretaceous period and may have hunted in packs. They appear in the Jurassic Park movies and are mistakenly called velociraptors. Let's tap on the model to interact with it. Wow, look at those teeth. Look at that long snout. If this wasn't a developing prototype, we'd be able to move this around. Okay, we revealed the fossil. Now let's take a closer look at it. Are we up for a quiz? Looks like our third task is to complete two quiz questions. We can earn plus 10 game arm medallions for each correct answer. What do we think the Utah Raptors would normally eat? A. Leaves and fruit. B. Meat. C. Bugs. D. Grass. Let's pick B. It is B. The long sharp teeth that we noticed before of the Utah Raptors were ideal for cutting meat off of their prey. Cool, we got plus 10 game arm medallions. Alright, here's our second question. Thinking about the sandstone that the skull came from, where do we think the raptor died? Would it be A, a river, B, a swamp, C, a forest, or D, the Arctic? Well, the sandstone is probably either in the river or the swamp, but I don't think there are many swamps in Utah. Let's go with A, a river. Awesome. We got it correct. Rivers tend to carry a lot of sand that becomes stained a reddish color when it dries out. Cool. We earned another plus 10 game arm medallions. All right. Well, if we wanted to continue through the museum, we can continue playing. And it seems as though we have done a very good job. So thank you for following us on this journey, and we hope that you have fun throughout the museum today.